So cats failed, surprising no one. Uh, let's talk about these little cute angelical fur balls, shall we? Hello all my little ones, welcome to Nerd News, a show that is created for nerds by a nerd. And today I wanted to talk about the CGI, the, the creepy CGI experience called Cats. Seriously, I did a uh, episode on this a while ago when the tr first trailer dropped, and uh, uh, human faces on cat bodies, that is just, who thought that was a good idea? And the movie is currently out, and the reaction towards the movie, well, it's less than perfect. <laughs> get it? Burr, it's a cat. You'll get it later. But before we get into this catnip-filled episode, if this is your first time here, please hit the like, the subscribe, the little notification bell. That little notification bell will notify you of all future episodes as I post them. And the notification bell will also go towards stopping people from putting human faces on animals. So, Let's talk about cats, shall we? Okay, so the Andrew Lloyd Webber stage production won like a bazillion Tony Awards for its show. And its production run earned over $4 billion or something like that. So it was one of the longest running stage productions ever and earned a ton of money. So when they announced when the stage production was going to be turned into a live action film adaptation, well, the Cats fans lost their minds and their whiskers. Now, shortly after they announced that the movie was happening, they announced the cast. And it was split between musicians like Taylor Swift and Jennifer Hudson, uh, and onto legendary actors like Ian McKellen uh, and Judi Dench. And then the trailer happened. And I think the one of the main reasons why this movie completely is bombing it at the box office is because the word of mouth that happened from the trailer. That doomed them from the start. But one thing that was a little gleaming of hope was the actual scenery of the movie looked fantastic because it was actually built. They were set pieces. Live tangible things like giant plates, big beds, all made, real, no CGI. So that was pretty cool. So it felt like a stage performance just on the big screen. But then you started seeing more, uh, <laughs> you started seeing the cats and well, they, it, do you see an issue? Come on. Now, besides the visuals, the story was a bit of a letdown. So the fans, the massive fans that loved the stage performance were really hoping to have that same magical element that would be in the film adaptation, but it just was not there. So with all this combined, the, uh, the story wasn't on par, the visuals were horrible. Uh, it, it, here's how it all culminated, all right? It came out, it's been in the theaters a few weeks, and it lost $71 million. What? Hold on. I don't think you heard me correctly. $71 million. That's a lot of catnip. That is a lot of kibbles and bits. It's a lot of scratching posts. I'm running out of cat things to say. But it's crazy because there are a lot of good uh, stage performance Broadway shows that came to the big screen that did very well. They were very successful. For example, Les Miserables. It earned $441.8 million. Chicago earned nearly $54 million. The Amazing Wicked earned $5.4 million. And my personal favorite show, Rent, earned $32 million. So there are good adaptations from Broadway to the big screen. You just have, you can't stray so far from the source material and then you have Cats. But I mean, Cats is on a, a whole new level. It's like a Cats in Heat in a alleyway you throw your shoe at it's just that's, the, that's not a good analogy just strike that from this episode <laughs> so this film had little to do with their marketing campaign like they barely pushed for any marketing for this movie and to top it off they oh the release date so they decided to go up against star wars rise of skywalker that's like saying um driving miss daisy is going to be released the same day as endgame I realize no one uses Driving Miss Daisy in a sentence and or a reference, so that is a very old reference. I might as well say, hey, do you remember Blockbuster? So the lack of marketing, the horrible CGI, uh, the, the release date, I mean, it, they're setting themselves up for failure already right from the beginning. I mean, the studio went so far as to actually take the movie out of the theaters for a short time, fix the CGI, put it back in the theaters, and what happened? People still were like, 
No, it's not doing it. Is it, for, is it doing it for you? Do you not? I don't like it. I, I, I don't like this either. So the funny thing about this is when I was doing research for this episode, I found some really, really funny reviews that people have said about cats. Now I'm going to read them to you. Okay. There's only three. Uh, <laughs> here's the first one. This movie reminds me of that scene from Jurassic Park. Well, Jeff Goldblum says, you are so preoccupied whether or not you could, you never bothered to ask if you should. Seriously, take $10, pop some popcorn, grab a drink from the fridge, and set the $10 on fire. You will be more entertained. And my absolute favorite review that anyone has said about this movie is this one. I have never seen a film that made me want to place my own cat up for adoptions until now. Words cannot express how awful this truly was. <laughs> this is... It's so good. That's the best movie review I have heard. So this is just a short little episode, a little recap on how Cats is doing and pretty much it's going to be put back in the pound. Now, if you saw Cats, let me know what you think in the comments below. I would greatly like to hear what you think and or if you can think of your own hilarious little uh, review, please write that down too because that last one was just pure comic gold. And if you guys enjoy this show, please check out Nerd News on my social media accounts on Instagram and Twitter. I update those daily so you can know what's going on in the entertainment world. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, remember if you're driving and on the side of the road you see a cat with a human face, huh, just keep on driving, pretend you never saw it.